John Fetterman, Connor Lamb, and Malcolm Kenyatta stopped in Center County this morning as they seek the Democratic nomination for U.S. Senate. This as we near a month away from the May primary. Our Jordan Tracy has what the top issue was on the minds of voters in attendance and how each candidate hopes to address it. I went table to table talking to voters at this breakfast about what was the key issue that could sway them on who they would vote for in this Senate race. And overwhelmingly, I was told it was the candidate who they believed could win in November. Representative Scott Conklin says the voters in his district understand how important it is to flip this Senate seat. They understand that, that the candidate they're voting for may not have every issue right, but they have enough issues right that they know in the fall that then they can represent them with those issues. So being able to win in a fall is just as important as every issue that they believe in. It's about turnout in all 67 counties. Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman points to his 67 county campaign journey as to why he's the best candidate to win in November. Our campaign is built from the grassroots up to be scalable in a way that the Republicans can't match. And we have a true grassroots infrastructure throughout Pennsylvania, as opposed to the Republicans, which are just buying name ID by writing large checks. For Congressman Connor Lamb, I'm the only candidate in this race who's beaten a Republican in a tough general election like this. He's previously won elections in his district against Sean Parnell and before that Keith Rothfuss. He says those victories show his ability to win in a general. I can point people to how I've already done it. Uh, whereas the other candidates have to say sort of hypothetically, here's what they would do, but they've only ever been in Democratic primaries. I've gone out three elections in a row and beaten Trump-backed candidates in Republican districts. And so that shows you I can keep all the Democrats, but also get the swing voters you need to win. We're going to win this campaign by making it clear to people, how is your life going to be different if Pat Toomey is out of the Senate and I'm in that, in that seat instead? For Representative Malcolm Kenyatta, it's relatability and a strong message that he believes will help him turn out the right coalition of voters to win. I'm the only candidate in this race who's actually a working person. You know, I came from a working class family in North Philadelphia. My dad was a social worker, my mom was a home health aide. And I know the squeeze that whether it's inflation or gas prices, um, rising costs at the grocery store, what that means to a family who's on a fixed income. In our recent poll done in conjunction with Emerson College, College in the Hill. It was John Fetterman who had a substantial lead over these other candidates. However, a lot of those voters said they were still undecided, so a lot of ground could be made up between now and the May 17th primary. For your local election headquarters, I'm Jordan Tracy, WTAJ News. Thanks, Jordan. And Lieutenant Governor candidate Austin Davis was also at the Democrat breakfast in Bullsburg this morning to campaign for himself and Josh Shapiro's bid to become the next governor of Pennsylvania. Davis made his pitch as to why he believes their ticket will represent more than just Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. Central Pennsylvania residents want leaders who are going to show up, who are going to lead with compassion and empathy, uh, and we're going to continue to do that. Uh, this Commonwealth is much bigger than just Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, uh, and we're proving that by the way we show up and the way we're running our campaign. And as we mentioned, the primary election is May 17th. 